I am my fault. Since you guys requested another one of these, we're just gonna do instances caught. Hey, Jay, are you gonna tell about this funny story you told me about? And what would that be? Basically, there's a story about this. There was this, there was this girl I, that I know, a friend of mine, a close friend, who had fun with it, with her, with her, with someone that she hates so much. Yeah, let's get Did on with that. Me? Yeah, well, don't ever contact me again if you're watching this video. Stay the hell out of my life. All right, let's just get this on. Instances that I've caught on camera. So why don't we just say it? Apparently, I mean, I'm not a fan of, like, horror and stuff, but this, these stories are not about, like, spooks and scares. They're a safety message, really. Apparently, I've caught stuff on camera, like, people banging on my windows, but if I do find them on my phone, they will be uploaded, because apparently, this is just something that just goes on to show that there can be idiots wanting to get in your house. And yeah, because when you wake up with your money stolen and a kidney missing, welcome to hell. Trust me, we all rain hell. Yeah. So apparently I have caught instances caught on camera. Well, you know, I really don't even think I should, but, you know. Hey, Billy, you had your neighbor from hell. Yeah, I've actually had creepy neighbors. Mm. <sighs> apparently, this thing, apparently I recorded on my TikTok account. Basically, um, this is a place of saying I almost died. Same. Same happened to me a long time ago. I will close to be dead. Yeah. So yes, that is an instance that I caught on camera because if you listen closely, there are bullets being fired at by whoever. Uh, thank you to my friends in this video for giving me the permission, by the way. They are really good friends of mine, so... And I have permission from the people, so... Yeah, this was TikTok we caught it on, so, yeah. That is an instance that I've caught on camera, but I plan to find more, put them on here, and maybe you could know that, like, this is something. Alright, enough of me chewing up your ear. Catching instances on camera is something that I've never wanted to do, but who knows? People say, oh, it's a, you got sweet YouTube views. Yeah, well, who cares? Basically, I have been in part of uh, that, but that video really explained that, you know, there's things like school shootings and all that, and they don't just happen in the elementary school, middle school, or high school. They can also happen in college. So why would you do yourself a favor? Watch what you do, because if you have this instance on camera... Just to be careful if you're putting it online, because me just being all crazy, this is not something that I planned on doing. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I was there with, um, my two guy friends. I had, um, Cole. So I had Cole B. I don't even know his last name, because it's very hard to pronounce. And I had my friend Jay, and I was the one holding my phone and running like an idiot. So, yeah, I had Cole, and I had my friend, Jay. So me, we're just, like, running. We don't know where our other friends are until we find the room, get in there, lock ourselves in there until it's safe. Knowing that, like, there's creeps around is, like, the thing. Ugh. Me being crazy is, like, hey, this is bad enough, so... Apparently, we stayed in there, um, I actually stopped recording because it's like a TikTok video, it's like three minutes or whatever, or a second, Help, depending on how long you make your videos, who cares. <sighs> so apparently, 
Um, we're in that room, and we're, we locked ourselves in there. We, the thing has, like, three locks, so this thing you couldn't even shoot down, not even with a bullet. These are, like, bulletproof, like, things. So, yeah. We hear footsteps, like this. And the shooter is banging on the door, screaming, I will kill you all, and making this mentally ill scream. Meanwhile, we're waiting, and plus, we didn't know there was a back door to the outside. So my friends and I, if, like, thinking, well, um, before the police arrive, we're just gonna unlock the doors, get to, um, my friend Kai's car, get in there, go home, and just never thought this would happen. Eventually, our parents would find out, so, big deal. Basically, yeah, we just didn't like, cause you know, nowadays with school shootings, police just do this. Like, you know, they just go in a room, point their gun at you and say, hands up. Really? You're going to shoot somebody even if they don't have a gun? Yeah. yeah. Cops. I really just think that's wrong because apparently we didn't know that room had been... That of the room we were in, locking ourselves in there, just decided, you know. Plus, before the police could arrive, we heard them down the hallway, but, you know, I'm like, you know what, I'm like, let's get out of here, since we all have our stuff, get in the car, go home, and pretend nothing ever f***ing happened. Yeah, because I'm not having a cop point a gun at me. If there's a, if there's a cop trying to point at me, I would say this. Grab the gun, and the, the only fuck there is say this. Yeah, but the thing is, now, like, they're gonna point a gun at you, even if they don't have someone with, like, somebody doesn't have a gun. You're gonna still point it to them? Like, yeah, my cousin's actually a senior in college in Minnesota, and I don't know, but I, she said there was, like, a shooting in somewhere in Minnesota, but I don't know when it happened, and I don't know if... She said it was, like, a different timeline. She doesn't know if she was at the end of high school or something. But, uh, yeah. I really don't even get it, though. And for me to see this, but she said, like, that when this happened, she had, like, the cops pointed a gun at her. Really? My cousin, her, her father is a cop. You better watch who you shoot a gun at, because apparently, you know, that's just crazy. Yeah, and I heard, like, I don't really think why people would do that to you is just, it's crazy. About me, just, we all get in the car, we go home, and, um, Cole's like, why don't we get something to eat? And we're like, you know, we're at a red light, and we're just talking, because there's just, when we drive by a certain area, there's, like, a bunch of food places next to each other. The mall's, like, over there, so, you know, we're just like, what do we want to get? So apparently, me and, um, Jet, me and Lloyd are in the back, you know. Yeah, so we're apparently talking, like, um, why don't we do Dairy Queen? And then, um, Nia and Pixel join in, like, yeah, Dairy Queen. So apparently, yeah, Zane joins in, says, yeah, Dairy Queen, you know. Cole and Jay actually, um, kind of digged in and said, yeah, Dairy Queen it is. So, we go get our food, you know, Dairy Queen. I love Dairy Queen, but, you know, it's so good, but the food is so salty. But we ended up getting, like, you know, a so that make you, uh, Dairy Queen now? What? Does it make you your, your Dairy Queen now? Shut up! I'm just teasing you. Screw you. Yeah, well, apparently you guys asked me, well, this is a big question, like, what is your favorite thing of Dairy Queen? I mean, I do, yeah, I have a lot, though. I do like, I like a drink, though, so, I think the food is, like, my favorite food there. I do have a favorite food, I have a favorite treat, I have a favorite drink, and a favorite cake. I also do like the blizzards, though. The blizzards are so good. Yeah, I can tell you, you love, you love them so much. Shut up! Hey, don't blame me, Dad. Don't hate me, Dad, that you said that you love them so.
Because they have better I food than like McDonald's, and I hate McDonald's. I like McDonald's. It's a little bit, but not too much. Because, you know, I'm more like Burger King better than, than McDonald's. I mean, I do like their burgers, but I also love, love their um their pretzel sticks with zesty uh, queso. Or am I saying it wrong? Probably. And their soft drinks, small sundaes. I love their fries. I'm not a chicken strips person. I used to be as a kid, but who cares? Uh, yeah, well, I have a lot though. I do had. I just had this the other day. The mint Oreo Blizzard. I mean, I've also had the um. I do like Harvest Berry Pie, Heath Caramel, because I'm a diehard fan of caramel. I also have, um, I also do get the, oh my god. I've gotten the Snickers, I do like the, uh, Butterfinger, and the M&M's. Does that mean you have Butterfinger? No one lays a fin- lays a- I can't even say it. No one lays a finger on my Butterfinger. Oh, I've been- no, you're my best friend. Why would I kill you? If it was like my brother or somebody in my family, oh yeah, no. Uh, you touch my food, well, guess what? Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't wanna, yeah. I'm just teasing you. I'm just saying. But if someone touched my food, you have a face of death. <laughs> Are you crazy? Yeah, I've heard that. Shut up, Nightfall. I'll kill you. F you. Okay, then. I'll kill you, and you kill me. How about that? Yeah, well, guess what? I don't really care, but, you know, who cares? Well, best part is... Actually, I choose that baby go first, so... You kill me, I'll kill you. Yeah, what a gentleman. Yeah. Alright, let's just get back to the story. Me being crazy is just like, yeah, this is it. I'm like, we're gonna die. So, getting in the car, we're just like, oh, great, it's the cops. And we're just like, oh, my God. And my friend, um, tells us something that happened to his grandmother. And he just says he's forever, never, and he wanted to be a cop, but he said he gave it up and just decided to be, he actually wants to play in the MLB. He wants to be, like, in the Seattle League. Well, I'm telling you right now, bud. Go for it. Go for being an MLB player. You better off there. Yeah, that's Major League Baseball. And since this whole virus has decided to spread, I have to get, you know, some stuff done. Yeah. Well, well you know, not only that, I have never been in a life for something. I'm like, you know, now... For, like, me, I'm just gonna just avoid getting, you know... Because I don't need people pointing a gun at me, and it's just that simple. Like, for me, I mean, I've hurt, been hurt in gunshots for a long time, and I mean, you know... So I live in an apartment I complex. Guns don't make you tough. Yeah. They didn't make you think that you look, you look you act tough, or you're not tough at all. You're just a little, little kid playing with guns. gun. Yeah. Okay, let me... Yeah, I'm serious. God is not make you a, a, a real, a real perfect man. Make you like, if you're still a little boy, you want revenge. Yeah. I'm crazy. Um, yeah, because me just being that is crazy. But, you know, me being all that, I guess, like, the whole thing is... I really just wanted to just, I'm really afraid of cops, and I'll say it right now, because I'm afraid of German Shepherds, Pipples, and all that, and that's why that instance that day, I had run out, because I'm not, like, a, a coward, but I'm very afraid of cops, though, and it's that simple. I don't want to be in a place where they're going to point guns at you, because I'm afraid that I'm going to have, like, you know, I'm going to die, but it's like... I just think now I'm, like, gonna have to do things like just jump out a window or just, like, you know, kind of get 
to a place, like get to a bathroom right near an entrance if this happens, because you know what, I'm just going to go dashing out of the entrance, get out, get in my car, and just leave. Yeah. Alright. My name is Jade, and I think you've heard my story. If something like this happens, get somewhere before. If there's like a classroom that's locked, get into the bathroom, get in there, and if you're a person that drives in high school, have your keys on you. Yeah, alright. Jade signing out. Right out. See you tomorrow for the next horror story.